You gotta give me that super dope isotope. Now my mix is always smoking super dope isotope. My bass will make your eardrums explode. What's up, everyone? I'm Steven Learson, and today I'm here to bow down to the master. All right, everyone. We've got a very delicate track to master today. Scalpel. Mastering is not really an exciting topic, so challenge accepted. Mastering's a very delicate procedure. We'll let you know when we're through. Well, luckily, Isotope made Ozone 9, so now anyone can be a master. So I've got a new track that's mixed and I'm ready to start mastering. So to start, I'll just play a little of the final mix. To start the mastering process, I'm gonna add the Ozone 9 plugin to my master bus, which is always labeled Throttle. Now I'm gonna need an assistant, a master assistant. Oh, that's right, Ozone 9's master assistant, which uses a blockchain facial recognition machine learning Bayesian network with minimal message-oriented transport layers, and you know what? I don't actually know how it works, but through some magic voodoo, it can analyze the audio of my track and then say, hey, you should EQ it like this, and maybe you should compress it like this. You can also give another track you like to the mastering assistant and say, hey, can you make my track mastered like that one? So the reference track I picked is by the band Zero Seven. It's called Out of Town. So I'm gonna play it for the mix assistant and it's gonna work its juju. Then it's gonna say, if you want your track to sound like that one, maybe you should EQ it like this and compress it like this. Of course, these are just recommendations from a computer algorithm. So you can't, you can't just accept these suggestions and, and call it a day. Yeah, if only it were that simple. But a lot of times after I get feedback from Ozone, I'll actually just go back to my mix and tweak it a little. And it's also helpful to use a couple different reference tracks to get some perspective. So after I've done this, I'll take my track and listen to it on every speaker system I have, big and small. I listen to it on my phone speakers, portable speakers, high-end speakers, and earbuds. Because if I can't get it to sound good there, well, my mix won't sound good anywhere. I'd just like to give a big thanks to Isotope for giving me a copy of Ozone 9. And they didn't ask me to make this video. I just dig it so much, I felt compelled. And a big thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, ring that notification bell, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll be back next week with something new for you. Hi, right. see ya.